Hey guys, it's Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornments Decor. I'm not painting today, but I wanted to chat with you guys about something for a minute. So tell me, how long has it been since you felt creative? You felt inspired? How long has it been since you got to spend an entire day crafting and creating? If it's been a while, then I've got just the cure for you. We're going to be talking a bit about it today. So I want to know, are you the kind of person who just crafts when you find time or are you the kind of person who um, it's a part of your everyday life? Like for me, it's a part of my every single day life because it's my business, right? But some of you are nurses and teachers and um, moms and uh, secretaries and you work in the out in the real world. <laughs> and so getting to craft is uh, something you don't get to do very often. So tell me in the comments, I want to hear how often do you get to craft and how often do you get to like sit down and take that time for yourself? Hi, Donna. Hello, Janice. Jennifer says, no, it's a job every day. What a wonderful way to live, isn't it, Jennifer? <laughs> and some of us, that's our goal. We want to get to that place. And that's that's totally okay if you, if you aren't able to be there. Hi, Lisa. Uh, LaDonna says, I wish it was my life, but it boosts my soul. Yes, we're definitely going to talk about that, about how it like lifts you up. Donna says, some of us are grandmas. Yeah, and sometimes grandmas can be super busy because you guys are like helping babysit and helping all of us mamas who have to go to work. Uh, Deb says, I retired in November and now I look forward to doing it every day. Wonderful. Shauna does it every day. Hi, Tony. Uh, Nanette says, truck driver. So it's very hard for me to find free time. I get that for sure. Uh, hi, Lynn from Illinois. Say hello. Tell me where you're watching from too. Um, Donna says, definitely not as often as I would like. Well, so you guys know that we started selling tickets this past week to the Southern Adornments live show in Dallas, right? Well, I got to looking today back at some of the comments of people who had attended the last couple of Southern Adornments Lives, because we've done this twice already. We did it in, in uh, Nashville the first and second year, um, and then this year in 2021, we didn't do one. So the last time we had one was in March 2020, right before the entire country shut down. Can you believe that? It's crazy. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Um, and so we shut, we, the entire country was shut down. And so March 2020, it felt like everything stopped. Everything was put on pause. It felt like we all went into quarantine for a long time. That gave us a lot of time to craft, right? It was awesome for those of us who, you know, had busy lives. Like all of a sudden, all of our baseball practices were canceled. I didn't have to go to any baseball games. I didn't have to like, you know, run here and there and everywhere. And so life slowed down quite a bit. But this year, 2021, things have picked back up again. Life is getting back to its normal pace. Um, but it's been a hard year, you guys. It's been tough. And so some of us have still not gotten back into the hang of finding time for ourselves to craft. Hey, Tara, welcome. Uh, let's see. Somebody said, I moved in with my daughter and her husband. They are essential workers from Colorado to help. Oh, I'm sure they are so blessed to have you. Um, Charlie said, I got one ticket for Dallas. I'm so excited to meet you, Charlie. Uh, so anyways, I was I was reading some of the comments or of people who had been to the, the last couple of Southern Adornments live shows. And one of our sweet friends, Miss Glennis Henson, she was at the last event. And I think she was also at the first event. And she said, thank you so much for having this event. She said, you gave me time to get lost in painting and forget my world for a while. How many of you guys have done that before? Have you like locked yourself away in a craft room and like completely forgot about the outside world? Sometimes it comes crashing back. Like like the kids, like my craft room is right on the outside of our kitchen. So I can shut the door, right? And I'm in here and this is like my little uh, oasis. I like to think of it as. But every now and then I can hear them on the other side of the door, like having a knockdown drag out fight. And I'm like, oh, I guess the real world's calling me back now. <laughs> And so some of you guys may need a little bit of a break from regular life and you may need to feel to have that feeling where you can just like put a, put all your troubles, all the things that are bothering you. If you're suffering with an illness or you're caring for somebody who's suffering with an illness or if you're just a mom who every day you're mom and you can't like turn that off for a little while, if you need to be able to turn it off for a little while. The Southern Adornments live show is a chance to do that because for two whole days, you get to get away from all the troubles, all the worries, all the responsibilities and the things that are calling you all the time. 
And you get to get away from that for two days and you get to just focus on you and crafting. And so Glennis was saying that that was something she really enjoyed was the fact that she got to spend a whole day, two days actually crafting with us. And she said it was a nice little escape um, from her normal world. And sometimes we need that because we get like bogged down, right? We don't have that inspired feeling, that creative feeling, the feeling that like, uh, we are fueling our soul. I don't, it's hard to put those feelings into exact words. So if somebody knows the words, definitely leave them in the comments for me and help me out. Uh, Amy says, what kind of paint did you use on your wall? Oh, it's all acrylic paint. Uh, Pam says, I can't do that right now. I'm a mom's care but giver and she can't be left alone. I'm going to sign up for the virtual. I understand if it's not the time. Um, Miss uh, Helen came to, I think Helen Anderson is, is her last name. She came to our last event in Nashville and she is a caregiver for her husband. And she actually lives in Nashville. So it was so convenient for her that we had it the first two years in Nashville because she was able to get somebody else to come and care for her husband during the day while we had these events. And then she would go back and care for him at night. And so for just a short time, she got to come and join us and get away from the stress and the, the, um, the feeling of, of feeling like you're missing out on what's going on in the outside world. If, if you're a caregiver, sometimes you are in the same house all day long, um, and that can be a little bit stressful. So this year, she's not going to be able to attend with us um, because it's in Dallas and she can't leave him for that many days at a time. So I understand if you're in that predicament also. But if at all possible, if there's somebody out there, because I know I'm the kind of person who doesn't ask for help very well. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a do-it-yourselfer. <laughs> and my husband knows this about me. And so sometimes he'll see that I'm struggling to, to handle something on my own and I refuse to ask for help. And so... Um, if, if you are the kind of person who has a hard time asking for help, maybe it's time to ask for help for just two days or maybe three days, depending on travel time, um, for somebody to come and, you know, help lighten that load for you so you can go and take time to fill your own cup. Um, let's see. Miss Brandy Kelly was another person who left a comment on our uh, event last year. And I wanted to talk about her because she actually came to the event alone. Is that a fear of any of you guys coming to the event by yourself because you don't have like a buddy to come with? Um, some people are the kind of person who have to have a buddy with them to go to anything. And I, I, I kind of used to be that way. But now I'm kind of like I love to travel by myself. And I'm an extrovert anyway, so it doesn't really bother me to step into a room of place where I don't know anybody. I, I usually can talk to the person next to me in line and make a friend. Um, but not everybody's that way, and I totally get it. So how many of you guys are afraid to come alone? Donna says yes. LaDonna says yes. Both of the, the Donnas. Uh, Charlie says yes, for sure. Jackie, uh-huh. So Miss Brandy Kelly said, she's here, I'm going to read her quote so I get it right. She said, I went there alone. And so I was a tad bit nervous, but she said, uh, I have not laughed so hard for so long, uh, in a long while. And she said, my soul needed it. So it turns out that even though she went by herself, she had a great time. And I was reading through some of the other comments and I'm not going to name names exactly because multiple people said this. They said, it's like everybody was family the minute we got there. And so... I want you to know that like if you have to come alone, if you want to do this, definitely come. You can come by yourself. <laughs> Pam said it. She said you'll have at least 200 buddies for sure. When you show up, you're going to feel like you're with family already because if you already get along really well with the people who are commenting right now in my video and you're here every Tuesday when I go live and I paint, you see the people in the comments, right? You you're, You chat with them. You feel like you're with people who are like kindred spirits. And some of you guys are like, oh, you're from Georgia. I'm from Georgia too, you know, and you're connecting with people who are close to you. That's because like people attract like people. Does that make sense? So you and I are similar in some way. We may not be the same age. We may not be the same hair color. We may not all be from Kentucky like I am, but that we have personality things that make us similar, or we have beliefs that make us similar and morals that make us similar. And there's something about me that attracted you to be here on this video right now. And so if that's true of you, that's true of everybody else, the other 140 or so people who are on this right now. And so because we all sort of have some kind of connection, you guys wanted to be here for some reason, 
you guys are very similar to each other also. You're similar to me because you're somewhat attracted to being here with me right now on this live, but you're also similar to each other. And I, it's, it's a really hard thing to explain and a hard thing to understand, but when we get you guys together in the same location at Dallas, it's going to be so awesome because you're going to suddenly feel like you're in a room with people who are like family and you're going to feel like you've met all these people who are like kindred spirits. Um, and that's hard to find in your everyday life. Um, just, you know, going about your day. Uh, maybe it's hard to find people like that at work. Um, certain jobs, I guess, would be easier than others, but sometimes it's just hard to find people who feel like a, a kindred spirit to you. And so, if you don't have anybody to craft with at home, if you feel like you're always crafting alone and you want to feel connected, come to this event because it's going to do that for you. It's going to make you feel connected. Like Brandy said, she said, I laughed so hard and I laughed like the whole time I was there. And she said, my soul needed it. Sometimes we get um, so busy in our everyday lives that we just don't like, we don't laugh. We don't cut up. We don't, um, we take to life too seriously. I, I, laugh, I think I've said it on here before at these events, it feels like like a, like a slumber party. <laughs> and how many of you guys had fun at slumber parties growing up? You laughed till your stomach hurt. You were so tired at the end of the day, but it was a, as my mother-in-law calls it, it's a good kind of tired because you've had like the best day ever. Um, and that's the kind of feeling that you're going to have after these events. Donna said, do you think that one year you might come South? I'm coming to Texas. I don't know where, what you mean about South. So Texas is in the South, but, um, where, where do you mean to, Donna? Uh, let's see. Okay, let's read the other comments. Let's see. Tamara Gregory. She has come to the last two events also. She's a nurse, and she is um, a wife to Jody. And she, the first year that she came, she said, I traveled alone, and I roomed with three strangers. She had never met them before, but she teamed up with them through our private Facebook group that we have with the event, and she found three other people who were traveling alone. And she said, all right, ladies, let's all, th fo all four of us share a hotel room and we will get to know each other. We'll be besties overnight. We will share the cost of the hotel room. It's going to be a blast. And she said, you know what? I had the best time. She said the fellowship, like she was talking about how much she learned at the event, like through the crafts and everything. And yes, you definitely are going to be learning things uh, while you're there. But she said the, the fellowship alone was the thing that she gained the most from that week. She said, I can't begin, I'm reading her quote while I'm looking down. She said, I can't begin to describe the love and companionship that I felt. And so if you are feeling alone at home and you don't feel like you have these crafting kindred spirits of friends, come and join us. We'll help you make friends. These friendships will carry you long after the event is over, even if they don't live um, near you. A lot of the ladies that connect at these events keep in contact with each other long after the events are over. Um, let's see. Mary said, I feel so alone and I'm lonely a lot because I can't do as much anymore as in drive and I need a little assistant. I love to just meet new people and talk. I, I love that you still have the personality, Mary, that you want to uh, make friends and meet people. And um, I, there are some people who can just talk to anybody. I'm one of those people. My mother-in-law is that kind of person. And so um, it if you're an introvert, it can be really hard. It can be really scary even to even just come to an event like this. And so I don't take that lightly. As an extrovert, I totally understand if it is terrifying to you to come to one of these alone. But just know that you're not the only person who feels that way. And there are others. Donna says, um, even for a quiet person like me, yeah, there are others who feel exactly like you do. <sighs> and the other thing too I wanted to bring up is the fact that sometimes as women... As mothers and wives and women in the workforce, it can be hard to make new friends, right? I'm 30, how old am I? <laughs> Almost said, I'm 37. Yeah, I, had to, I always have to like think about it. I don't know why, but I'm 37 years old, you guys, and it is still hard for me to make new friends. And it wasn't until I started going to events like this that I really um, started making friends that were outside of... Um, like my normal everyday life. So I have a few friends at church. I have um, a couple of friends through my husband and I have friends from high school that I still keep in contact with, but we only see each other once or twice a year. And so up until I started going to like 
a, an event. I went to the tribe event. That, that's a business conference. But until I went to that, and I went completely alone, y'all, completely alone. But I roomed with three other complete strangers, just like Tamara did at that event. And until I did that, I did not really have friends that felt like soul sisters. You know what I mean? And and once I got to meet those ladies at the tribe event, it deepened our relationship because we were kind of already been chatting a little bit through a Facebook group and private message. But until we got to meet in person, it really didn't solidify our relationship. And you guys now know them as the creative club. And so the creative club girls are going to be at my event in Dallas. We are all close enough that we will travel for each other. We will go to each other's events. We will, we go on vacations once or twice a year together. And it is so good for my soul. It's so good for my business. It's it's just good for me mentally to have somebody that knows what I'm going through and what I'm struggling with. And so for you guys, even if you're not a business owner, if you're just a crafter, you may want somebody like that who who can get just as excited about the project and the thing you made as you do. And I was explaining this to my husband the other day because he just didn't get it. I was like, I can't wait to show this to my mom. And, and, and he goes... Uh, I just want somebody to see it. He goes, well, you showed it to me. And I said, yeah, yeah, but it's not the same. And he goes, why not? I complimented it. I said it looked nice. I thought that was really cool that you made that. And I'm like, yeah, but it's, it's just different. You know? <laughs> and I don't know how to explain it, but like when I show something that I've painted or I've made to my husband, the reaction he gives me is not the same as, as showing a feller, feller, a feller, showing a fellow crafter or my mom, somebody who like loves crafts and making things with their hands as much as I do, they geek out. That's I guess that's the difference. He can appreciate it as a craft and be like, that looks nice. My mom or my or like a fellow crafter will geek out about it with me. And that's what I what you guys are missing. You need somebody who can geek out about the crafts and the painting with you. Um and <laughs> you know, find those people who love geeking out about crafts like you do, who, who, when you find something awesome at Hobby Lobby, you can message that person and be like, oh my goodness, you've got to go out and buy this right now. It's so amazing. <laughs> and if you don't have that person in your life, you've got to come meet that person. It, 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 it might be the person who sits right beside you at the Southern Adornments Live Show. It might be the person you eat lunch with. You don't even know. You're going to make people, make friends everywhere you go at this event. There's going to be 200 ladies that are there. We've already sold several tickets. There's also a VIP P night. So if you want to really get to know some people at the event on a in a smaller group setting, there's going to be 50 tickets available for a VIP night with the Creative Club girls and myself. Um, we're going to provide you dinner. We're going to have a live Q and A um, uh, panel. You can ask us about painting. You can ask us about business. You can ask us about life. It doesn't matter. And um, we're going to get you guys together the night before the event happens at a local restaurant. It's going to be much more intimate than the main event. Um, so you can purchase an additional ticket to that. It's a separate purchase than your main event ticket. And you can come and join us for that. And you just might make friends with somebody at that before the main event actually starts. And that might make you feel a little more comfortable as well. Uh, Pam says, I'm so trying to get this. You are the person that inspired me to paint. I'm crafty, but not artistic. Uh, my stick people are challenged, but I was able to paint um, a door hanger, a little Debbie cake door hanger. Oh, well, that makes me feel so good, Pam. It's so funny because so many people say, I can't even paint a stick figure. I, I can't even draw a stick figure. So they think that that is like a qualifying thing. They have to be able to check off the list before they can paint. And of course not. We know that like, even if you can't draw a stick figure, you could learn to paint. Anybody can. Um, Robin says, where do I find information on this event? Southernadornamentslive.com. I put the uh, link up in the description. And if you're watching on TikTok, I put the link over in my, um, link in my profile. So you can click over there to find out more about it. There's a couple different ways to participate. Like I said, you can get the full event ticket. And if you pay in full, you save a hundred dollars. There is a payment plan if you want to. Um, and then there is the VIP ticket that you can purchase on top of your regular ticket. So to get the VIP ticket, listen closely, you have to add the main ticket to your cart, enter your credit card information, and right as you're getting ready, getting ready to check out, I think right before you hit the like process button, there's a little checkbox that says, do you want to add on the VIP night for, you know, whatever. And you click yes, and it adds it on, and then you check out. Um, so that's how you get the VIP night. If you cannot attend, 
and you still want to feel like you're a part of the group, you still want to participate with us, we have a virtual ticket option, and you can do that. Um, it is a Facebook group for this event. We are going to live stream all of the videos, the workshops, and the event into that private Facebook group. So even though you're at home, so if you're at home caring for your mother or somebody, you can still watch the live stream from your phone um, or from your laptop, or you can stream us to your smart TV if you have one, and you can feel like you're there even though you're not. Um, and we are going to be providing the supply list for all the crafts that we're going to make to that group of uh, virtual ticket holders. And there will be um, links to where you can go to buy the things that, that we're making if you want to make them from home as well. But if you just want to watch, you can do that too. Marie says, my soul sister is my, my sister is my soul sister who geeks out about my crafts and vice versa. Uh, that's a good question. So, uh, I mean, that wasn't a question, but that makes me think of a good question. Do you have somebody who geeks out about stuff like this with you, who geeks out about crafts and your the things you make? Drop their name or tag them in the comments below and let them know that they are your person, like your craft person, your crafty soul sister, if you will. Uh, Ava says, the day has not been my day. I tried to get something returned. They wouldn't take, oh, that is so frustrating. Well, Ava, um, I hope we can brighten your day. Helen says, that's what I hate the most is not being able to visit with the great women that I have met through you. Uh, Helen is the one I was telling you about who takes care of her husband and she's not going to be able to attend this this year. So Helen, you will be with us in our hearts. We, we will be thinking about you for sure. Um, I feel like we ought to leave an empty chair in the room with Helen's name on it because she was at the first two events. It feels wrong that she's not going to be there for the third one, but that's okay. We understand. Um, let's see. Paula says, I have purchased my ticket and I'm so excited. My husband's excited also and is totally supportive. Is your husband coming, Paula? Because that's something that I didn't talk about. Um, Tamara Gregory brought her husband to the last event. She wasn't the only one. There was another lady, but I can't remember her name. There was another lady also, but Tamara brought her husband Jody with her to the event this last time, and he sat right beside her and crafted and painted right along with her. Um, and I think the reason she brought him with her is because they wanted to make a vacation out of it. They wanted to like tour Nashville and stuff like that. And so if you want to make a vacation out of this with your husband, you can. Um, he'll need to, if he wants to come to the event and paint with us and sit with you and all that, he'll need to buy a ticket also. But if not, you know, he could come with you. He could go and do uh, manly things in Dallas. <laughs> Like go to like a war museum or something. I'm sure there's something to do. Um, he could go do something manly out in the town while you're doing the crafty things. And then, you know, at night you could go out to dinner with him and stuff like that. But Tamara's husband came and he sat right beside her, beside her and painted and had a blast. Kelly says, Vashi Miller is my soul sister. She's a good one to have, Kelly. Um, let's see. Um, I think I've gotten your questions. Paula says, I've asked him and he's talking about it. Wonderful. Uh, and Bees in Bloom on TikTok says, my daughters and family are the ones who geek out for me. I have another friend, uh, Lauren, um, Lauren Martin. Um, she's going to be live with me, not this Tuesday, but next, because she's coming to visit me. We used to live, she used to live here and we used to craft together all the time. And now she moved away. And so now when she makes something cool or I make something cool, we're like texting each other pictures of what we've made because, um, we geek out about that kind of stuff, you know. We love to play on the cricket together and just craft and make things. And so it made me sad when she moved away because she was the person who I geeked out about things like this with. So Patty says, I don't have a crafty soul sister. Well, Patty, if you come to Dallas, we will help you find your crafty soul sister. I feel like we need to have a, a matchmaking um, game or something where it's like helps pair you guys up with who you're compatible with or something. Hey, Kyle, what's up? Uh, Kyle is watching on TikTok. He is Uncle Corey's brother. We always talk about Uncle Corey over here on Facebook. So, um, Uncle Corey may or may not be coming. We, we've been talking to him about it, but if he does, we'll, we'll set him up an autograph signing <laughs> table. <laughs> All right. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. I'm starting to lose my voice. So I better get off here. But if you have any more questions about the event, feel free to um, drop them in the comments. I'll try to monitor those and um, get back to you. You can find out all you need to know at southernadornmentslive.com. There is a link in the profile and there is a link here on the video description for you. Um, it's July 15th and 16th next summer. If you um, buy your ticket now, you will get... Uh, 
in before they, they close out, before they sell out, because I don't know how long they're going to last. We've already sold a few. Uh, 70 said, oh, I missed it. That's okay. You can rewind. I just hit myself in the nose. You can rewind and rewatch. All right. Y'all have a great afternoon. Bye, y'all.